Hello guys, in this video we are going to create our first table in our database. In our previous video we have discussed how to establish a connection with database. So I am presuming that you know how to connect to database. If not, then you are afraid to watch our previous videos in which we have discussed all the concepts, all the things that you need to do for connecting your PHP code with database. However, here are a few things that you should know. First of all, you need to ensure that a server that may be WAM, MAM or anything else is installed in your system. If not, then first of all, you need to download and install it. However, if your servers are installed in your system, then congrats. All you need is to turn them on. Okay. So let's start. So this is our code for connecting us with the database that we have practiced in our previous videos. So let's first ensure that we are well connected with our database. Table creation, yeah. So yes, connection established. This ensures that we are connected with our database. Now let's write up the code for creating a table. Okay, query. And inside this, we are going to write some SQL code for table creation. So this is our sample SQL code that will create a table named Code of Geeks having four columns that is ID, first name, last name and email. Let's copy this and paste here. Okay. To execute this query, we need a PHP fund method that is MySQLI query. It is used to execute a database query. It usually takes two parameters, connection, and for an operation. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's check this. If this is true, then our table is created, else there might be a condition that some error may occur. Okay, to display this error, we are going to use mysql i error function with connection variable. Okay. Now at last, after writing all your code, it is always considered as the best practice to close up your connection with database. We can do this by using a PHP method that is MySQLi close. That will also take one parameter that is your connection variable. Let's save this. Refresh. Table is created. So let's recheck. We need PHP my admin login okay so our database is my first DB so this is our table that is code of geeks having four columns ID first name last name email okay one thing to note is that you need to keep all your files inside 
www.directories. I said www.directories. Oh, yes. Or else it will not work. So that was all in this video. We have successfully created our first table inside a database, my first DB, using a PHP code. So bingo, that was all in this video. See you in the next with the new idea. Till then, happy coding and stay tuned for more.